Alright, so this is gonna be the first part in a series that I hope you guys like. So basically, in between each main build, we're gonna do sort of smaller update videos. Like maybe some smaller projects, like in this video, we're gonna be doing some wall climbers, maybe some behind the scenes, and yeah, pretty much whatever else is going on. So let me know what you think, super open to criticism. Also, if you have any cool ideas for things I should do, let me know. Uh, but if you do end up liking it, please hit that thumbs up button. Maybe subscribe if you want. So yeah, welcome to my I don't wanna call it a vlog. Alright, so in the last video we hit the Iron Man Whip Project. Definitely check that out, but the results may shock you. <laughs> but in that video we also mentioned we're in the middle of a move. So the rest of the studio finally arrived. You wanna do the honors? <laughs> we don't have all day. <laughs> oh, this is a lot of stuff. So now we're like 99% moved in. Also, Wicked Lasers sent over their newest green laser cube. So, you know, we kind of had to drop everything and go play with that. So cool guys like and I love that we have this garage door to do like sweet reveals definitely expect more of that so you can burn stuff with this laser you can draw with it pretty much anything you want to display it's kind of like a projector but really bright and it's also beat sensitive so it pops off when you play music Basically the most high-tech laser I've ever used and now we got two of them so definitely comment what projects we should do with these. Oh yeah and the human flying drone came too so we put that back together and got it up and flying. Again very happy we have this huge yard to fly it in and some new neighbors to confuse. Like at my last place, everyone kind of knew what I was doing. They all found out about my channel and you know, that's no fun. Like I hope my first interaction with these new ones is just me like flying over the fence, just, hi neighbor. We got that going and uh, definitely gonna do some upgrades in the future. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Obviously we're gonna put lights on it. Also, if you're in LA, any creators wanna come fly this, make a video, let me know. Then we did some meeting stuff, you know, really got down to business. Let's yeah. talk business. We get in, we'll get 30%, wrap up our funds, finish out with a high profit for the next quarter. Talking about the maps, I drew up a bunch of different maps. We have topographical, we have scientifical, and we have geographical. Doctor, doctor, doctor. We read a ton of your comments and then did some more business. This right here is who we need to kill. Marketing, discounted cash flow. Sorry, total, total, fatality. total fatality. Objection, sustained your honor. Dude, I'm telling you, man, it goes synergy, marketing. Come on, that's, that's come on. Sorry, I had to see all that. This is the end of Jay Laser video. This will go with the spy scuba. Uh, but finally, we ended up picking the projects that we're gonna do next. This is looking like a belt that turns into a sword. And we're also gonna do another James Bond scuba gadget. Now, I don't want to give too much of that video away, but here's just a little teaser. Back is red. About to be more red. Dude, he's bleeding. Yeah, he's bleeding from his teeth because of this damn thing. Probably. Things I do for YouTube. Is it worth it? Uh, <sighs> worth it for the video, dude. Being a spy is not easy, dog. <laughs> it's not easy. We're having fun. This is what it takes to get to the next level, Jake. You're gonna pay me for this? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Woo! Hello. Watch me catch this sick wave. Okay. Oh, oh so sick. Maybe I'll do a pop-up. Gotta be doing something right if you can write off jet skiing as a tax expense. Now we're about to put on a suit and try to fly a drone off a jet ski. I mean, I asked the lady and she said she was cool with us wearing wetsuits, so I, I asked no further questions. Fingers crossed. Oh, hey! Oh, wow. Rick, you wanna see some real speed? I'll show you some real speed. So yeah, 
yeah, that's what we've been up to. Uh, but I do have one more thing I want to try. I've been wanting to do this for a while, actually. Basically, there's these super strong, like, suction grabbers. Supposedly, you can stick onto any surface and holds up to 300 pounds each. So they work by using a mini vacuum to create suction over a large surface area to get more lifting power. The foam sealer on the outside means it can mold to any surface, like even bumpy, like textured concrete, which is pretty cool. But the smoother the surface, the better it'll work. I saw a video of this where a guy did something similar, but he actually had a vacuum strapped to his back and had the tubes run out to large hand grips. But these things are all in one package and they're probably quieter too. You're supposed to use them for like tiles and stuff, but I really just want to turn them into some Spider-Man wall climbers. Like they look really perfect for this. Like I don't really think I have to modify them at all, which is why I haven't done it in its own main build video. But yeah, let's order a few, do it in this video. And if it works, maybe we integrate it into like a full on spider suit or something. Maybe put it in some shoes. I don't know. Let's try it out. Grabo, let's go. Yo, try and get like some cool angles to make it look like a nice montage. Look at this thing. So as I'm peeling the sticker off, it's probably a good idea to tell you not to try this yourself. Like I'm definitely not gonna be climbing super high with this. We're gonna keep it as safe as we can. Like nothing I can't really jump down from. And I just really don't want anyone getting hurt as a result of this video. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Damn, this is crazy. Well. We just need two of them. What are you doing? How's it hanging? So I added some feet straps that hook onto the device so all the weight goes through your feet. So now you can literally go up to any flat surface and start climbing. What I did was I ran the straps down under my pants and into my shoes so it's pretty discreet. If you got like some holster, you could just have these hanging down right by your side or on your back. Pretty discreet, like this is all you need to climb. Yeah, say for an instance, we got a, like a Frisbee stuck on a roof. Maybe you need to get up there, you know? Maybe you like roofs. We have Santa Claus, reindeer went rogue, and you have to scale the house now. So whatever the reason, let's see if it, we can make this happen. Got uh, all the proper safety precautions. I see nothing that can go wrong. That was actually a lot of fun. Not that you should try this though. I'm not saying if you were gonna break out of prison, these would be very helpful. I'm not saying that. That is a flat wall right there. All right, let's see if we can get from this side of the house to this side without, without walking. That was pretty sick. I can't believe it. some of those grabs were very impressive. I think the fastest climb, but like from the fact that there is absolutely no foothold. Dude. And it's not metal, so you, you can't use magnets. And you reach so far for a couple of those just one time and it and it got it. I know. It's insane. So sometimes it doesn't get quite a good enough stick, so you have to redo it, but that's why this gauge right here really helps. Because if, if it's well in the greens, you know it's a good stick. Alright, we are in front of uh a building. If any of the owners of this are watching this, we are not trying to rob you. If you look zoom into this we just got a nice flat painted concrete so first test we'll see uh, if we can get up a little bit So honestly, these things did work pretty well. They've got a gauge on the side that tells you the vacuum level. So you know if you've got a good seal and you just press one button to suck to something and the other one to release. I mean, you're not gonna win any speed climbing records by doing this, but uh, there's definitely some potential here. Like just the fact that you can scale completely flat, giant walls using these pretty small grabber things, pretty sick. That being said, just because you can do it doesn't mean you should. Like things can go very wrong very fast if one grip loses suction. The whole time I was climbing, I didn't go higher than I could jump down from. And in the back of my head, I was always bracing myself for a potential fall. Point is, I did it here so you don't have to. All right, guys, so definitely give me some feedback on what you thought of this video. If you liked it, if you didn't, what I should do next, what I shouldn't do. Like maybe we can like revisit some older projects, maybe some smaller builds you want me to tackle while I'm working on the main video, which is coming out soon. So definitely hit that subscribe button and toss a like if you enjoyed this. Thanks, guys. Peace.